Hello and welcome everyone to our show, Our Ventura. I'm Sandra Sepak, and today our guest is Bonnie Weigel. She is the president and CEO of FoodShare. Thank you so much for joining us, Bonnie. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here with you today. Good. I, I wanted to uh, see if you could tell us a little bit about the FoodShare program and what you do for the local community here in Ventura County. It's a wonderful organization, and I would like our viewers to know a little bit more about it. Well, this is why I was excited to come. Believe it or not, I don't think there's a day that goes by that someone says, so FoodShare, I've heard it, but what do you do? And in its most pure form, we ensure that nobody goes hungry in Ventura County. And what does that mean? Well, there's a lot of families, about, oh, almost 19,000 families now, where at some point during the month, one or more days, they don't have enough food to eat. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do as this great network of nonprofits and individuals and corporations. We ensure no one goes hungry in Ventura County. That's our mission. And that's a very important point to bring up, because there are a lot of families that are having a hard time making ends meet. And it's a great thing that FoodShare can step in and be a part of helping and making sure that everyone is covered. Um, it must take an awful lot of work on your organization's part to do that though. So we'll start out by mentioning the fact that all that food has to come from somewhere. Yeah. So with all that inventory that comes in, where does it come from and how does it go out? We get our food in a lot of different places, and okay. I kind of think about it as um, a big food pie, and so mm. people always say, so where does your food come from? Yeah. Well, 60% comes from our growers, our farmers, our ranchers, our agricultural community, as you know, if you look out your window just about anywhere in Ventura County, what do you see? We get to grow food here, and mm. not just any food, beautiful, healthy food. Uh, and so 60% is donated by our agricultural industry, mm -hmm. which is such a blessing. And uh, we are always amazed that they always figure out how to save a little bit, put that aside, give us a call and our trucks and go and pick out that food. Uh, super fresh, same thing you'd find in the markets, Absolutely, right? Yeah. Everything from strawberries and bananas to lettuce and you name it. And then our grocery stores. Our grocery stores are a tremendous partner. And so our volunteers go in our big trucks that we have all over the county and they go behind all the grocery stores and we work with our local retailers and we pick up that fresh food. It could be dairy, it could be um, things out of the deli, fresh mm -hmm. fruits and vegetables, eggs, bread, and that's all picked up as well. And then we have um, gleaning. And so if you know that very old fashioned term, that means extra food that's left in the fields and in your trees. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of backyard picking. So if you've got, let's say, 10 trees, one tree, our volunteers will go and pick that fruit. It's one of our favorite ways to access food. Mm -hmm. And then good old fashioned food drives. Food drives are super, super important. And they really provide well over a million pounds towards the 11 total million pounds that we'll distribute to our hungry. That's and good. then the government helps a little bit. Mm -hmm. They're about 10%, something called the farm bill, if you're familiar mm -hmm. with that. Absolutely. And those are commodities. So that okay. can be vegetables, fresh chicken, cheese, different things. Mm -hmm. And that's where they buy surplus from the different growers and the farmers across the United States. Mm -hmm. And they are able to purchase that. And then that goes out through our food bank system. And we're one of those food banks. And then the last way is we are able to purchase, oh, about a million pounds worth of food every day with the donations that we get, or I should say a year. And so collectively, mm -hmm. that's where all our food comes from. Food drives is what most people know, mm -hmm. but we're very creative on how we source our food. Well, I think it's important, you know, food drives uh, that you probably do, do you do it through local organizations, churches, schools? How does that come about? Yeah. Um, all of the above. Everything, okay. It is, and we'll have everyone from, oh gosh, a local motorcycle store to a high school oh, nice. to a church. Um, we had a Porsche club recently who was doing an auto show and they were collecting food. A lot of races these days, 5Ks and mm -hmm. marathons will collect food for us. During the holidays, lots and lots of people decide that instead of exchanging gifts, they're going to do a food drive and then they'll do a big holiday party. They'll ask people instead of bringing gifts to mm -hmm. bring food. And our companies, our companies are wonderful across Ventura County from little mom and pop businesses to mm -hmm. large corporations. They'll choose a month or a week oh. and they'll ask everybody to bring food. So in every way that you can think of, someone says, I'm going to go out and ask people to help. Mm -hmm. Well, that is incredible, and mm -hmm. I think the donations coming in from different people across the, the whole county, coming together and making that possible really makes a difference for a lot of folks out there who really need food share. Mm -hmm. I think that really helps. Let, uh, tell us the, 
the website address. So if people would like to go online um, and take a look at some of the things that you do, I think it's really important. Sure, we'd love for them to help. It's foodshare.com. Okay. So the other day we had a meeting with our board of directors and some volunteers and some friends were together. And it occurred to us that 90 was an interesting number. And mm -hmm. so I'll start there. 90% of our workforce are volunteers. They really wow. get paid with a hug and a kiss and thank you so much for being here. That's nice. 90% of all of the food that we distribute is donated. And 90%, um, uh, actually a little bit more than 90%, if you donate a dollar to food share, mm -hmm. eight cents goes to staffing and fundraising and everything else goes to the work of feeding hungry people. That is really good. Mm -hmm. And 90% of those that we serve are all working. And mm. so about 10% are homeless, but that 90% really just surprises people. They said, they're, they're working? I said, yeah. Mm. And so this is where the paychecks don't meet, and that's why they need our help. They're doing everything they possibly can. They just get caught short at some point in the month, and that's where they have to make decisions. Do I use this money to buy food, mm -hmm. or do I put gas in my car so right. I can go to work and make my mortgage or my rent payment, or so do I need medicine, or whatever the other choice is. How does a family actually come and, and get the food? Do you have certain um, days of the, of the month that are uh, set aside for this? Is it every day? How can a family, should they be in need, mm -hmm. get in touch with FoodShare to be a part of that program? So it's in a lot of different ways. I think most people okay. naturally go to the web. Okay. So if you go to foodshare.com, mm -hmm. there's a website in there and it's 24 hours a day. You just put your zip code in okay. and it will pop up in your location where you're close to, where okay. there's a pantry close That's by. Good. Every day in the county, there's somewhere, at least one place that you can pick up food, if not more. We distribute through 180 separate nonprofit partners. That's really good. This is, Food Share is really the people's nonprofit. It's this great network of volunteers, mm -hmm. of nonprofit organizations, tons of individual volunteers. Over 3,000 hours a month are donated to either mm. picking up food or distributing it. Right. So when someone's hungry, they can call. Um, 211 is a really great resource. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and oh you can simply gosh. say, I'm hungry, where do I find help? Okay. And they'll connect you to a pantry. They can come to the warehouse. Uh, most faith-based group know us, and mm -hmm. so if your local church is a great place to start, right. and they'll direct you for help. Uh, but I think most people find us through someone they know, because okay it's a hard place or online and I get those emails and those phone calls sometimes in the middle of the night is that right mm -hmm. though and they'll leave a message and just say you know I've never been in this position how right. do I get help and I think it's important that with the donations that have come in now for food chair mm -hmm. um, you are able to help so many people from all the way down Simi Valley all the way here in, you know Oxnard and Ventura I think it's really amazing that you cover so much of Ventura County um, by what you do and getting the word out to people and getting the food out to people. And, and that brings me to the question of some of the programs that you offer, mm -hmm. um, which are really important programs. Um, we really want to stress that those programs make a difference for so many people out there. And one of them I noticed was the senior program that you have and another is the kids program, the Kids right. Farmers Market. So let's talk a little bit about those two programs that you've implemented in Food Share. Sure, and you're right because everybody has a different circumstance. Sure. But it, they have the common issue of, mm -hmm. I don't have enough food. Right. And so for a senior, they may be limited in transportation. So Senior Share is a great program because sure. it's in senior communities. A uh -huh. lot of times it's at a senior housing complex okay. or somewhere close by. Yeah. And our seniors are um, they're very proud and, and we mm -hmm. want to be very respectful of them. So we work it in a way where we'll bring a truckload of food out and our seniors will help us sort that food into grocery bags. Mm -hmm. And so they have a sense of giving back, which is extremely important for them. And okay. then they take those bags of food home. And more than not, they're also delivering them to maybe a friend who can't get out, who mm -hmm. can't drive anymore, is homebound. And we also have a homebound program for our seniors. And 
that one's really hard um, to think of, oh my gosh, they don't have anyone in their lives, that the only people that they see are our drivers or our volunteers oh. when they come to their door once a week right. to deliver meals to them. They must really welcome you when you come we, to the door. It's so much more than a bag of food. Sure. It's, um, it's you know, someone you taking your medicine, are you eating, do you right. want a new book to read, just kind of sit and visit with them for okay. a while. Mm. And that's another way. And we work with the city of Ventura very closely around that. And then for our kids, Boys and Girls Club, wonderful partners of ours. So Absolutely. we come in, we sit with the kids, and we talk about food with a nutritionist and volunteers, and okay. then we cook together. And so a lot of these kids, believe it or not, have never tried cabbage before or even uh -huh. an orange. I was at one of our kids' farmer's markets, okay. and we were cutting up cabbage with our little plastic forks and knives uh -huh. and, and peeling oranges and yogurt and uh, raisins, and we put it all together. And most of these kids had never had some of this food. Right, the real healthy stuff. And so you we know, just made a simple food. coleslaw with yogurt and oh, you know, fruit. That's they loved it. And yeah. then when they're all done with that, they go through a line that's set up like a farmer's market, okay. and they take bags of food home with them, of fresh produce that's okay. donated by our agricultural community. And even at a young age, they totally get it. Yeah. Had one little guy, I could tell he was trying to uh, put peaches or something in his pocket. Oh, and I said, what's going on? He's, and he had the bags, you know, uh -huh. it was like loaded up, he could barely carry them. Right. I said, well, my mom really likes these and I want to share them uh -huh. with my brother. So already at a young age, they know there's a problem at home. And right. part of that problem is not having enough to eat. Right. It's um, it's a really special program, and we do it all collaborative. Uh, okay. Like I said, it's a big collaboration. Boys and Girls Club, Rescue Mission, Salvation Army, uh -huh. Goodwill, all the different churches, so everybody kind of works in tandem together to it's make this happen. It's a big co-op. So yeah. what a food bank is uh, really kind of speaks to its name. Mm -hmm. Our our role that we steward is bring all the resources together. Mm -hmm. So that's the people, that's the food, and the means to move the food in and out and then work with the entire community to get that food out there in an efficient manner. Now, of course, donations are extremely important. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's vital to, to keeping the organization going and serving. Um, so, with that said, do corporate sponsors play a big part, or play a big role mm -hmm. in keeping the food coming for food share? They are important. Um, our mosaic of givers, uh, either yeah. time or money or some other sure. sort of gift, okay. is really varied. But I ha when I say the people's nonprofit, almost all of our funding is private. So good, ninety percent again. Okay, and it's really um, teachers and Grammy and grandpas that are sending five dollars a month, oh. or someone who just gives to us every single month. You know, I send these little love letters out, just oh. talking about what's happening, and they write a check for twenty dollars every month. And, oh. and believe it or not, that's where most of our funding comes from. And then we, the backbone of foundations and corporations, they can give at larger amounts, mm -hmm. and they do. But I think part of the reason they do is not just the mm -hmm. efficiency, mm -hmm. but it's because the community is invested as well. Right. Uh, and then what really, you know, will be out there, you'll have a senior little say, can I give you a dollar? I mean, so here oh. they are, they're getting a bag of food, but they're still trying to give right. back. Well, there's an appreciation factor that I feel that you know, they probably want to do something mm -hmm. uh, because they're getting something and well, And that's exactly it. We tell yeah. everybody you can help. If you have a dollar or a can, we'll okay. take it because it right. adds up collectively. That's how Absolutely. we serve 8 million meals, 11 million pounds of food right. every single year. Well now, real quick, I just want you to say the website again for people sure. out there, our viewers, should they want to go to the website and take mm -hmm. a look and see how they can participate or volunteer or help or donate. I want them to know yeah. again. Foodshare.com, it's, it's just, I say that over and over. I'm like, we're just sharing food, that's all we're doing. Absolutely. So foodshare.com, and it, and it can be just a phone call. We get lots of phone right. calls. We do tours all the time. We had a group in today, okay. and they said, we had no idea. I mean, it's almost 40,000 uh, square feet. It's located in Oxnard, but we distribute with those 180 partners all across the county. That's right. So there's a community, there's a partner that's distributing food in your backyard, and right. if you want to come to the warehouse, we have some executives who say, we just want to drive a truck because we sit behind the oh, desk oh, nice. all day long, that's and we'll good. go pick up bread. We need those people, too. And we too. have people that want to pick the fruit out of right. the trees. We have other people that really want to do something more, and good. so... They'll um, host a pay it forward barbecue or wine oh. party and they just talk about it and they have people donate food and money. There's all kinds of And ways all those to things help. collectively really make a difference. And people doing that and mm -hmm. continuing to do that to make the organization grow 
uh, for the community here in Ventura, I think really matters. It that does. Really matters. It, it, the nonprofit, the work that we do belongs to the community. So we right. raise about four and a half million dollars in cash each Good. year. And then, oh, about another 12, 14 million in in-kind donations. Right. And um, we have a very high rating on, uh, you know, we get audited every year because we are efficient. When eight okay. cents of every dollar goes to just the staffing and the fundraising, people feel very safe about giving of their time and their money, and we need it, and that's Good. how we do it. It's these little teeny dollars and cans at a time that Well, I, I, I absolutely admire all the work that you're doing and you are doing a wonderful thing for the community and the residents here. And I wish you all the best for the future. I hope people will contact you, get in touch with you, volunteer, donate, all those good things collectively together to make it happen for other people who are in need. I think that's really important. I wanna thank you so much for being on the show today, Bonnie. You are an incredible force for this organization. I wish you the best with it. Thank you so much. Thanks. And thank all of you for joining us today on Our Ventura. I hope you'll join us next time and we will see you then. I am Sandra Sepak. Thank you again for joining us on Our Ventura.